Hang on, I'm vaping. Oh, so am I. What do you got? <laughs> um, I, I use, what I do is uh, the, um, what is it? Um, Menthol 5 or something? Where, where the hell is my bottle? But it's from Halo. Halo makes this uh, stuff. Um, and it's uh, 24 milligram uh, nicotine in a, uh, um, like a 50 millimeter bottle. Milliliter oh, so, bottle. so do you use Nick salts? No, I use, it's just, it's, it's the juice. Wow. And then I dump it in there, um, and I have a, uh, what is this? It's a, uh, smoke, S-M-O-K mod with, uh, with a, with a thing that you screw it in with the, um, the tank and all and everything. And it's very okay, nice. so. You can regulate the, uh, wattage and the voltage and everything. That's what I do. I have a, uh, what is it? I have a Vupu Drag 2 with a Freemax tank, and I'm on Blutiful Disaster, which is like blueberry slushy. Oh, wow. I don't, three, I, three, I, three milligrams nicotine for me, though. I just dropped down. Only three? Oh, okay. I'm still... I'm trying... I, I mean, I want to vape without the nicotine. I eventually want to get to that point. Damn, we should start a podcast about vaping. <laughs> well, <laughs> I had this no, well, I had this idea with my friend Noah because my friend Noah got me into vaping because it saved his life. And it's and I've been on I've been vaping for over two years now and I'm I'm feeling better much better than I did when I was smoking, and um, yeah, I wanted to do a thing called a vape cast with him but it's really hard because he has he like you he has a lot of children and he has no time to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have time like after eight o'clock at night most nights like if I don't have to work then I have like plenty of time because I'm up till like five in the morning either watching movies or playing video games. But I can't tell. I mean, well, you know now. I mean, this this really saves you a lot of money. I oh, mean, it like, does. I mean, I mean, cigarettes sa- over here are like thirteen dollars a pack. I don't know how much they are in Chicago. I live on the border of Will County and Cook County, so mm-hmm. in Will County, like let's say a pack of Newports will run you eight bucks. Um, That's actually and, pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, and no, but in Cook County, then you're paying New York prices. Then you're paying like ten, eleven bucks for a pack of Newports. Jesus. Even yeah, that's upstate, why. That's one of the. I mean, I, I quit like because $10. of my kids. I quit because of my kids. I, they, I, my da- my daughter came up to me and she was just like, "Daddy, I don't like watching you smoke." Yeah, yeah. My wife would, tried that on me for years, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> I only uh, I quit smoking too because um, number one, yeah, they cost way too much money, and yeah. number two, they make the house smell, and number three, they make the curtains and everything dirty. So, and they make your clothes smell bad. You know, the vaping doesn't do any of that. It's wonderful. I will agree with you on the clothes part, but all the rest of that shit, I never smoked in the house. I always smoked in the house. I smoked in the, ki- I smoked in the kitchen and, you know, and then I had to clean all the, everything, all the gook. I mean, it's just, ugh, it's pretty bad. No, I always, I, I didn't care if it was 25 below outside. I would go outside in a jacket and I'd light up. <laughs> I would never smoke in my house in front of my wife, in front of my kids. I, I never wanted them to see me do it. Oh, that's good. That's good. And now my wife doesn't. Eat, my wife, she actually says, "I don't care if you vape in front of the front of the kids." You yeah, know, I, my I, wife just got mad at me because I took my uh, my second youngest to the vape shop. Yeah. And that, and and they don't care. I mean, the vape the vape shop owners don't care. I mean, if you're coming in there with your kid buying a bottle of juice, they don't give a shit. I go, I go. The the vape shop is like two blocks down from where I live, and I take my daughter with me, and they always give her a free soda. So <laughs> they they always give her candy or anything like that. My, my wife was just like, "Don't take our daughter to the vape shop." I'm like, "All right, all right, Jesus Christ." <laughs> She tried. She tried saying that it was more dangerous than cigarettes. I'm like, where the fuck did you get your information? <laughs> that that I, I, sounds I would... like something the government would try to say, you know, because they they try to say that everything is a gateway, you know. And I, it's not. I mean, I know a lot of potheads who kind of went on to harsher substances, and I know a lot of potheads who try to say it's safer than smoking. Um, I don't really know about that because it just seems like it's another addiction too. And I, it is. I mean, you're trading one addiction for another, but at the same time, this isn't going to kill you, or at least there is no conclusive evidence that states it's going to kill you. Yes. But at the same time, how much better do you feel? God, you know, I mean, I can I, I can breathe better. I can breathe a lot better now. I don't get headaches anymore. My sinuses aren't as bad. My taste buds came back. My stride is better. I can breathe better. It's just like... The and, only problem... And, yeah. and, and well, these conservative assholes want to say it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. They're just trying to get a piece. They're trying to get their tax. Of course. But that's the, all uh, they want. the one thing I can say is that I have put on a lot of weight. 
and I'm trying to get, mm. I'm trying to get it off. I I uh, immediately knew to do calorie counting as soon as I stopped. As soon I, as I stopped smoking, I calorie counted. Yeah, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to really kind of increase my fiber because I don't know. I maybe I, I I feel like I'm lacking in fiber, so I've been trying to supplement my fiber. I just keep it down to three square meals a day. That's what I do. Wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, have a little. I have a very light lunch. Like I never eat a heavy lunch. I make. That's how I cut my calories out. I have just a very light lunch, and then I eat a nice good dinner, and then I'm good to go, and I don't snack in between. I don't know. I think I do a lot of snacking myself, but um, all right, let's let's start this up. You know what? I'm going to take yeah. this conversation. I'll put it on a pre-roll. We'll, we'll, all right. We can talk about vaping in there. Okay. <laughs> I tell you, here's your friendly banter until we can go into it. Nothing beats installing a fresh coil on your mod and then <laughs> vaping some quality juice. Yeah. Nothing beats that. Oh, I, I, how often do you change your coil, by the way? Well, I think the last coil I put in had a defect because I was barely getting any flavor out of it. Mm. So I ran it for a week. I pumped at least three different types of juice, maybe four. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Okay. I, I took it out today, and it was black as a fucking. It was just black. Oh, so it was you know? like, yeah, it was totally burned out. It was totally burned out, and I think it was just a bad coil. So I just dumped it. I bought a whole new bottle of juice yesterday. So I primed it up. You know, did what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And then you know, ran it at a low wattage, and because I vape at a, I vape at a 90 or 95 because I use a quad mesh coil. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, did a break in period, but now. Every time I take a drag, it's just like I'm literally drinking a blueberry slushy. It's freaking incredible. Uh, and I'm hearing it there. <laughs>